Hello and welcome back to another tactic testing video. Today the tactic we're testing out is Somalia 433. But before we get into the video, it's the usual. If you can like, subscribe and ring that bell, a like goes a long way. It helps this video be seen with more people on the algorithm. And that's what I'm after. I'm after more people to see the video and hopefully they enjoy it. Hopefully they find a tactic they want to use out on their save. And yeah, it's a Shadow Striker this tactic as well. We haven't done one of these for a while, so let's get into it. If you want to download this, it will be in the description below. But if you can't download it, if you're playing on Xbox or what, for whatever reason, I'm going to run over it now and copy what I'm showing you. So what we got? We got a sweeper keeper support. We got inverted wing back attack. We got a ball playing defender defend. There is added on instructions, so make sure you pause it when need be. Another ball playing defender defend. Inverted wing back attack on the right. A roaming playmaker support. Defensive wing on the left support. Defensive wing on the right support. Inverted winger attack on the left. Inverted winger attack on the right. And a shadow striker attack in the middle. So yes, and what we've got here. Tactical style custom. Mentality positive. In possession we have. Fairly wide. Play out defence. Passing direct is slightly shorter. Tempo extremely high. Time wasting never. Low crosses. And work the ball into the box. In transition we have. Counter press. Counter. And roll it out. That seems to be about it. Out of possession we have. Use offside trap. Much higher line of engagement. Def standing defensive line. Defensive width. Force opposition on the outside. Trigger press much more often. And prevent short goal kick distribution. And that is it. This is the best 11 without restrictions. So the system manager is going to be in charge. What do we do here? I forgot what we do. What do we do? We choose three teams. We choose Main City season preview to finish first, West Ham season preview to finish 10th, and Norwich season preview to finish 20th. We leave the choose a tactic, we leave the assistant manager in charge, and he has to play this tactic, and then we check out the results at the end of the season, and we put it into a little league table to try and find the best tactic out there. It's a fun tactic tester. It's a fun tactic tester. Right, yeah, like I said, this is the best 11 without restrictions. Looks very good. Kevin De Bruyne up front. It surely he's going to bang the goals in. You've got Sterling, Silver on the left and right, cutting inside. You've got Grealish and Mahrez playing the defensive wingers. That might be a bit, um, yeah, might be a bit. We'll see, we'll see. Right, enough talking. Let's get into the results. So here we go. In the competition screen from Main City, the current runners up on the Community Shield. Got knocked out in the semi-final of the Carabao Cup against Liverpool. But got to the quarter-final of the FA Cup and got knocked out by Arsenal. But won the Champions League. The thing that Man City been after for so long, they've won it. 2-1, AC Milan in the final. And they also won the Premier League by a lot of points. Normally, Liverpool are well up there. They won it by 92 points, 81 goal difference. Very good. 81 goal difference. Let's take a look at goals. Who's the top goal scorer for us? Phil Foden. Bernardo Silva, 15. Where's Kevin De Bruyne? That's a bit of a surprise because I really thought Kevin De Bruyne would have been the top goal scorer playing that shadow striker role. But maybe they thought, no, sod it. Phil Foden's the guy. Average rating, what we got? Carl Walker, Bernardo Silva, John Stones, Laporte, Diaz, Phil Foden. Had a great season. And Kevin De Bruyne down the bottom there. Some good ratings. Assists, we got Bernardo Silva, De Bruyne, Jack Grealish. Good, that's what we want to see. Came in the boy, we're seeing a bit more of him now. Play of the match awards, Bernardo Silva, Grealish. Clean sheets, this is quite important. How many clean sheets? Sixth place, 14 clean sheets. It's not bad, it's not bad. Yellow cards, is it a dirty tactic? Are we going to pick up yellow cards? Not really, we've got four guys in the top. One, two, three, four. Four guys in the top 20, it's not too bad. Diaz is up there with 13 yellow cards. I've seen worse. I've seen a hell of a lot worse. Right. Let's have a look at the team. Overall view. Most points per game. 2.42. That's a very good rating. Very good high. Goals. 114 goals. Shots for 797. We're getting the most shots off. Fewer shots against. For 375. Best pass completion. We're not up there. Most possession. Again, we can't see us. Most tackles. One. We're six. We're 606. Most dribbles were 7th with 431. Most clean sheets were 5th. 16 clean sheets. Fewest goals conceded. 33 goals conceded. Very good defensively. Very good indeed. I think that's the lowest so far in a tactic test. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Just take a closer look at some of these results. 
Uh, they lost, I say, lost the community shield. The community shield? Lost the community shield against Leicester 2-1. Uh, Champions League group, was that a tricky one? They had Ace Milan in the group and then got to play them in the final again. See, unbeaten in the group. Scoring 21 goals for, 5 against. Goal difference of 16. Uh, phenomenal. Really good group. Done really well in the group. And let's go through, go through. There we go. So they beat Liverpool at home 3-1, but then lost 3-1, 3-0 away in a Carab Cup semi-final. It was disappointing. Beat Inter Milan. Lost 3-1 away from home, but then had a really great result. 4-2 and one on penalties. Very close to getting knocked out in the first round. Uh, knockout. And then FA Cup quarterfinal, just lost to Arsenal 3-1. Can't really see anything there other than just a bad performance. Cole Palmer. We know he's a decent player. Knocked out Borussia Dortmund. Easy. Knocked out Real Madrid. 4-0. Then 3-4 in the second leg. 4-0 against West Ham. And then a couple of disappointing losses here against Chelsea and Arsenal. They would have been disappointing. Then beat Crystal Palace. And then end of the season, they beat AC Milan. Phenomenal. 2-1. It was a close game, but not close enough. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne with the winner. Ace Milan taking an early lead. A very, very good tactic. Surprising that Kevin De Bruyne wasn't the top goal scorer. Phil Foden was, but he's not a bad player, is he? Right, that's the results with uh, Man City. Now let's check out with West Ham. Okay, so this is West Ham's best 11 without restrictions. And the first thing that jumps out at me is Antonio is playing defensive winger support on the right. Very interested indeed. Let's get straight into the results. So we're on West Ham's competition screen and they got knocked out in the third round of the Carabao Cup against Brighton. Not great. Knocked out in the fifth round of the FA Cup against Middlesbrough. Even worse. But they did get to the semi-final of the Europa League, the Euro Cup, and lost to Napoli so close to the final. But they finished sixth in the league, 66 points, four places above their season preview, 27 goal difference, lost 12, drawn six, and won 20. Won 20. Any decent results in there? Tottenham? Arsenal will beat 3-0. We'll take a close look later on. Right. Premier League. What have we got? We've got top goal scorer. No. Classic. 12 goals. No, you're not going to get the top goal scorer of this tactic. The goals are being spread about. Average rating. I can always see Cresswell there. 7.72. That is phenomenal. Really good. Zuma, 7.44. And then that seems to be about it. Two guys on there, but two high average ratings. Aaron Cresswell, 16 assists from left back. Phenomenal. Just seems Cresswell seems to be doing it all himself. Player of the match award, it's going to be Cresswell. He's third place there. Clean sheets. Fifth place, 11 clean sheets. Not bad. It is a good defensive tactic. You're not going to concede the many goals if you're going by the main city results. And you're not going to get too many yellow cards. We've only got Zuma on there. Let's take a closer look at the team. Team overall view, so points per game, 1.74, most goals, 84 goals, so you are going to score a few goals. Second place, most shots for, 699, you're going to get the shots off, fewest goals conceded, we're not on there, fewest shots against even, best pass completion, we don't normally see our tactics on here. Most possession, no, most tackles, 661, most dribbles, top of the table, 505 dribbles. Most clean sheets, 12 clean sheets, 7th, joint 7th, fewest goals conceded, but not on there. The main City one, was it 33 conceded? But no, this one conceded a few more. It was normally pretty good defensively. Let's take a closer look at the schedule, see if there's anything anything interesting. Main City, beating them 2-1. Euro Cup Group B, let's have a look. Lazio, Genk, and this team again, I can't say... Uh, good, 12, 12 points, they lost two, both against Lazio, Lazio was just phenomenal, anything else, let's have a look, let's have a look, close game against Liverpool, any big results, close game against Chelsea, if only some of these games would have gone the other way, only if they would have gone the other way, 3-2 against, close game against Middlesbrough, but you should be beating Middlesbrough, if they knocked out in the first round, they knocked out by Leverkusen. That's the second round. And they knocked out Seville, which is very good. Knocked out by Leverkusen. Quarter final. Slazenborg, they knocked out. 
So they've done really well. They've got all the way to Napoli and just couldn't knock out Napoli. Napoli with a big 4-0 thrashing. Was away from home. And then a big thrashing against uh, Man City. Come the end of the season, it wasn't great. It wasn't great indeed. But, like I said, four places above their season preview. A very good tactic. 60 points. So I think it's pretty decent. I think that's a pretty decent result. Now let's check out the results with uh, Norwich. So this is Norwich's best 11 without restrictions. And as with Antonio playing out on the right, they've got Puki in the inverted winger attack on the right position. Another interesting choice. Like I say, the assistant manager's in charge, so it's up to him really to pick the best 11. And this is what he's thinking. All he's got to do is play this tactic. We'll tell him to play the tactic, but we're not telling him what players to choose. And this is what he's going for. Let's check out the results. Okay, so we're kicking off the results with a knocked out in the third round of the Carabao Cup against uh, Leicester. Knocked out in the fourth round of the FA Cup against Leicester. But they finished 8th in the league, 12 places above their season preview, which is bottom of the table. So that's pretty damn good. I know we've had some tactics where they finished like 5th, 4th. But this is still a great result. It's still a great tactic if you don't want to play a striker. It is. I'm telling you now, it is. Right, let's take a look at this, some of these uh, player stats. Goals-wise, do we have anyone up there? Puki, 15 goals from the right. Billy Gilmore, 12. Not bad. Average rating, what do we have? Max Aarons with a 7.34. Anyone else? That's it. That's it. Assists, what do we have? Uh, Norman, Williams, Rashika. Players that are normally not really up there with the assist front. Very surprising, some of the player names. Uh, Max Aarons, player of the match ward six, joint third. Clean sheets, I'm not expecting much. 11th, 9 clean sheets, but still not too bad. Yellow cards, we have got Williams with 14 yellow cards and Norman with 12. This is not bad. Look, you're not going to, some of these tactics, you pick up a hell of a lot of yellow cards with get stuck in on. But this one, no, you don't. You don't. Points per game, 1.50 in 8th position. Most goals. 83 goals. You are going to score the goals with this tactic, even if you ain't playing an out and out striker. Most shots for 546. Fewer shots against. We're not on there. But I don't expect to see us in these two. We're not. Most tackles, 668. Most dribbles, 421 dribbles, sixth place. Most clean sheets, we're not on there. Fewest conceded, we're not on there again. Let's take a closer look at some of these results. Uh, Southampton, um, 4-1, Wolves 2-1, they lost against uh, West Ham, 2-1 against Leicester in the third round, we've already spoke about, any big results that went in, any big result, they lost against Crystal Palace, let 7-1, 7-1, I'm expecting someone to be sent off, but no one sent off, uh, but then they won, What beat Watford, Newcastle, Tottenham, Villa, they got a right kick up the ass. Right. Anything else? Leicester here. Fourth round. It was a re replay. And they lost. They lost against Southampton again. Uh, well, actually, no. They beat Southampton at the start of the season. 4-1. And then they lost against Southampton. They couldn't do the double. They couldn't do the double. Right. Uh, Everton, they lost. Man City, they lost. Get a point against Arsenal. Come the end of the season. A great 2-1 win against Chelsea at the end of the season. Fantastic, at home as well. And they scored on the 94th minute, Chelsea, to try a late comeback, but not to be. Eighth place, like I said, 12th place above the season preview. I think that's pretty damn good, considering not playing the striker. And if you don't want to play a striker, you've got a, you've got players in and you ain't got the tactic to play the striker. This is a very good tactic to use. Let's set up all the points and add it to our tactic lead table, which is coming up next. So as you can see, Somalia 4-3-3 comes in at number 6 spot, 167, drawn 14, lost 33, a goal difference of 112, a points tally of 215, only 3 away from hiding in the shadows, a very good tactic in Main City. They won the Premier League, they won the Champions League, not so bad with West Ham and Norwich, just not as good as some of the other tactics that we've tested. It's a great shadowless tactic to try out. If you like a little bit of Let's Play, I do have a... Tombridge Angels, non-league and beyond going on. It's a very good save. I'm loving it. We're in the Premier League. Please go check it out. I have some other tactic testing videos. I have some tips and tricks. Hopefully I have it all for you. Please come back again. And guys, I'll see you next time.